Hello, and welcome back to Not Just Another Paranormal Podcast. My name is Thomas Allen, and I'm here with Brett, and we're here to talk about some things today, but we can let Brett speak a little bit and move it over to him. Well, let's see. This is Tom's show, so we're talking about aliens and, what was it? Aliens. Uh, UFOs. Yep. Aliens. And, and the uh, uh, Mothman, Mothman of Virginia. Now, really quick, mm-hmm. one of the last episodes that we did, you told me, do I th- think to watch a movie? About Mothman? Oh, did you watch it? Uh, I didn't. <laughs> it's okay, go. So, I don't know, Tom, take a, take a, uh, take it get away. to it, take it away, and uh, you're hosting the show. Okay. So. Here I go. <laughs> Usually that's, <laughs> that's your thing, but I, I, I yeah. guess I'll just do this one, you get the next one. I guess what we're going to talk about, uh, first let's talk about aliens <clears throat> a little bit briefly. Uh, basically, we, we know about Roswell, which happened in the crash was in 1947 is when it crashed, and everybody knows about Roswell. You, can, you go there, you get arrested, that kind of deal, strange lights in the sky and whatnot, and I can touch upon that briefly, but to talk about that, that could just be an all-day affair, and I, I know you know somewhat about well, that. Well, let's this, 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 this go in this route. Okay. Have you ever seen, like, anything in the sky yes. that you've maybe thought was a UFO? Now, really quick, you should mm-hmm. tell people, because I think a lot of people get a miscon- uh, what do you mm-hmm. call it? what's the word, a misconception, a misconception of yes. UFO. When right. people say UFO, they're thinking aliens. Mm-hmm. Let's get, this, let's get it, uh, the story straight, okay. or not the story straight. Let's get the facts. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well... No, UFO, unidentified flying object. That's correct. That's what it that means. It doesn't say anything about aliens. It just there. means you don't know what it is. Exactly. That's it. I can't say I've ever seen anything like that. Really? I have. Twice. So, let's hear it. Uh, I've seen it twice. One time I was uh, <clears throat> going down, I think it was like I-95, and it was really late at night. I think it was like 2 in the morning. I was coming home from work, and uh, I was driving the car, and I saw something in the sky, and it was a light. And I'm thinking, okay, it's a plane, because when a plane flies, you know, it cruises at like six, seven hundred, eight hundred miles an hour, but it looks like it's not moving. You know, planes kind of, well, this looked like it was stopped, literally stopped, and I was mm. like, not a big deal. And then it just kept, it wasn't moving like at all, so I pulled the car over onto the shoulder, put my hazards on, and I stared at it. I tried to take a video with my phone, it's useless, it's a flip phone, so forget it. Make a long story short, it hovered there, bright as can be, it didn't have the red, yellow lights that planes usually have on their wingtips. It hovered there, and then it shot straight up. Planes don't shoot straight up. It was this? was like this, right? And it went like this. No, was this in the daytime? Did you say it was in the night? Nighttime. It was nighttime. like two in the but morning. But can you be positive, though? It was an actual, an actual plane. I mean, well, well, I mean, I mean it's at night. It, I mean, it, it, if it were to just keep flying in a straight coordinate, that would be fine. But for something to hover there, which still could have been a plane because it – when the plane flies, they look like they're not going anywhere. You know that. Right. You've seen them. They just kind of hang out there. But this did go somewhere, and it went somewhere fast. It just shot straight up hmm. into the sky. You and know, I was like, that was it? You know what's funny is that i seen something like that on the show, uh, Paranormal uh, Caught on Tape. Great show. And they're, they're talking about uh, things that seem to pause in time. Yeah, I've seen that. And <laughs> they crazy. showed one that, and that like, like you said, a jet. Like a seven, like a Boeing seven forty seven, yep. one of the biggest ones, and um, just sitting there, and, and the people are driving by, like on the highway, and they got right. the camera, and it, it it literally does look like it's just hovering t- towards the ground, like it's going to land, but it's not moving. I've seen that one, yeah. Is that something similar? I, I don't know, but I mean, it was a little awkward, but I mean, I wasn't identified as what right. I'm trying to get at. Yeah, but I'm no, just saying that comparing it to take a time freeze or something. Uh, they had a bird too. Uh, they showed a bird in flight. Now, when a bird yeah. flies, it flaps its wings, right? This bird was like frozen like this and it wasn't moving. Mm. It was just hanging out, in the, a bird hanging out in the sky, but that talks about like other dimensions and is it a simulation, which is a right. totally other topic we're not even going to play with at uh, this yeah, point. Yeah, we're, we're not going there not today. Not going there today. Well, well, that would be another episode, which, hey, it could be another episode. Is it a simulation? That's crazy. I know, that's crazy. But anyway, get back to the UFOs and the aliens. Sure. Uh, the, what would you like me to speak about, Brett? Well, I mean, I don't know. We could just keep going back and forth okay. with, uh, I, you know, uh, not ideas, but maybe experiences. How about this? Okay. Do you believe there's something else out there? Absolutely. Now, what makes you think that? But what? Because kinda? it's, well, you know, uh, for me to think, you know, you know, for me to think that there's nothing else but us in this entire solar system would be, you know, total hubris to believe, like, hey, we're the only ones. It's like... Mm. 
you know, there's plenty of other species out there of life we just don't know it. But yeah, I do believe in aliens, and I don't think it's ET, and I don't think it's very yeah. friendly either. And I don't want to be abducted anytime soon. You know what? It, it, as big as the galaxy is, or the universe, it's I, huge. I mean, ET could be out there. Maybe. You know, aliens I don't know. too, I mean, but they're nasty. I watch <laughs> those shows all the time about space and how big it actually is, and so how they expanding. say it would take. Well, I think they said it would take from one end of the Milky Way to the other would take, I think, 10,000 years. Even going at the speed of light would take that long. So you've got to think, you know, you put, you, you know, you say you go to the beach and you grab a hand of uh, sand mm-hmm. on the beach and you're, you're like that little tiny speck, speck in <laughs> that big mound of sand that you're holding. Yep. You know, who's to say that there's nothing else out oh, there? You're, there's, you're that there's... only little speck of sand that exists. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It, 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 I just can't see it. There's got to yeah, be something else. No, out there, there, there is. I mean, some of it, some of it might be friendly. You know, just like humans, there's some good people in this world. There's some not so nice people. Mm. Aliens are the same way. There's probably some cool ones. There's probably ones that are like not nice to hang out with. Yeah, I mean, I would love, I would love to be. I don't want to see shame. something. I would love to see something, but I don't want to see something. I don't know. Maybe a lot of people can relate to that because it's like it depends it's, how it's close fasc- it is. Well, it's fascinating <laughs> to think of other life out there. Oh yeah, absolutely. But these claims that people have been abducted and they're all, they're, all these aliens look the same. I don't know if I'd actually want to see one looking at me because you don't know what, you know, the kid. I wouldn't want those experiments performed on my so, body. Just, so, you can forget about that. And right. Then, I, I mean, mean, they don't I, even put you to sleep. They're just like, yeah, let's put this needle through your eyeball. It's like, yeah, I, numb me and sit. Okay. <laughs> when I was young, I remember there was a show. I, I don't think it was Ripley's, but it was something else. They were talking about aliens and they showed, I mean, when you're six or seven years old, and they're showing you these creepy alien things. Mm-hmm. It can scar you, man. And I think that's probably you're still one of the reasons. You're scared of aliens, aren't you? Yes. You know what I'm going to no, do? I, you know. <laughs> I'm going to come to your house, and I'm going to take some trash can lids, and I'm going to, like, kill pots of your grass in circles and to have you wake up and, you know, oh, no. abducted. Now, between you and I, nobody else is listening right now. I'm telling everybody to mute their, 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 yeah, they're not, whatever so they're what? listening to, mute it. Okay. <laughs> I can, so sometimes, like, late at night, I'll go downstairs for a snack or whatever. You know, it's dark out. I got mm-hmm. a porch with a big door on it. And sometimes I'll be thinking, <laughs> I'll look out that door, just imagining an alien walking up to the door, looking at me, and what would I do? You know, would I freeze? Well, now would I, I know what to do say, hey, to play a joke up? on Take you now. somewhere, huh? I'm, just, I'm, I'm buying an alien costume, and I'm going to, like, go downstairs. I'm, I'll just wait for you and be like, be like the Greys, from like Whitley Strieber. <laughs> it's, 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 I mean, it's, it's scary. It, it's yeah, some I don't people like say, it They creep me out, man. They would creep you out. Yeah, um, aliens. Are, but but you see what I'm saying though is as far as it's like the 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 fascination of you would love to know if there's other stuff out yeah, there, right? Yeah, I, I mean, want to would... have a close encounter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like just keep uh, like close encounter of the third kind. Like what is it? Who who wrote that? Was Steven Spielberg, I think, wrote that. Yeah, right? I think uh, who was in it? Richard Dreyfuss was in it. I think. Yeah, mm. and, and, I mean, at the end, even for that back then was kind of creepy when they would you know the door would open and you see these things coming With out the long, and the long arms, arms and, and everything. Nasty. But they were friendly, so maybe, you know, yeah, I mean, if right. it's a friendly alien, <laughs> uh, you know, E.T., you out there, you know. E.T. phone home. <laughs> uh, and air, so Area 51, yep. that actually, that leads us to Area 51. Yep, it where, does, yeah. And like I said, that's, you know, uh, the first UFO crash that was documented by the so, federal government was 1947. Well, supposedly. That's what they, they say. say. That's, they say it's out there, but then it's almost like the government tells you that it never happened. That's yeah, the government. Of course, they're going to say that. They're right. going to tell you the truth. They're just now saying to people, UFOs exist. Like, we already knew that. Well, again, you said UFOs exist. Right. UFO is just an unidentified flying object. Well, that, well you know, they specifically said aliens. Right. They've so that's what I'm trying to get. I mm, would yeah. love to see, like, um, I don't know, media or not, but just get the term UFO under, to, for people to understand that UFO is nothing more, it's not saying it's an alien no, spacecraft. It's an identif- they should start calling it objects. alien spacecraft, if, you know right. what I mean, not yeah. UFOs. But I, I don't know. I mean, I've seen a lot of shows that they say, oh, look at the night light, and, and you see yes. these little dots going up and down. Yeah. Nowadays, dude, there are drones out there that. And they can fly pretty high, too. So. Yeah, um, and, and they can do all kinds of maneuvers. People, you know, you can get faked. I mean, 10 oh, years ago, they can. didn't have drones, no, really. Like gas balloons and stuff. Well, not. You know, citizens. I mean, no, the government no. probably had government drones. Does. Now we can fly drones and invade your privacy. Right. Love it. Um, <laughs> but Area 51, yep. I mean, I would love to go. And I, and I saw this YouTube channel, uh, this guy on YouTube. I can't remember his name. I mm-hmm. wish I could because he's really good. And he's really cool to watch. But him and his uh, girlfriend or wife, I'm not sure if, if they're married or not, they drove to Area 51. Oh, and, nice. And they 
went up to the gates, mm -hmm. reading all the signs. You can right. get up to the gates. Uh, and then a couple times during the video that they were taking, they actually had uh, a couple people that worked in Area 51 drive through in a pickup thinking – they were thinking, oh, gee, they're coming to talk to us or whatever. And they yeah. just flew right by. Yeah. You know, didn't didn't <clears> wave <throat> or anything like that. You know, hiding yeah, their lucky. faces as they drove by. So it's, those, guys it's, can, those guys can get ugly. Like one time I saw, what is it, a paranormal car on camera. And these people, you know, a couple of day trippers, you know, driving them. You know, let's go to Area 51. Yeah, they didn't drive by these guys. They they came up to them. They drew their weapons. And they said some curse words to them. And mm. The guy's, like, racing behind this thing on his bike, and he's like, I said, put your hand down, or he goes, I'm going to end you right here. And, like, these guys were like, I was like, whoa, these guys oh, are scared. Dude, they I will. Mean, they're mean. Like, they, I mean, they're mean. Well, they have, like, wow. what I saw now, they have sensors on top of the hills. Yeah, these guys will kill you. They and they have people out there, they watch you. They will watch you without even blinking, make sure that, I mean, you, I can imagine how far they would go. But, like, say you go to the gate. You're allowed to go to the gate. But you can't go beyond that. Right. Like but if you were to, like, you. touch it, are they going to, like, some of those guys going to take force thinking, oh, that person's touching it, they're going to attempt to open the gate. I wouldn't test them. You know what I mean? They might you, just shoot you, you in the leg you, or something, a flesh wound. I've never been there, and I'll tell you, I mean, I'd love there. to go. Huh? I would love to go. Would you? But I, I don't, I, I wouldn't, as much, as, as tempted as I would be to touch <laughs> the, the gate. You need a shot. I, I, yeah, I'm not, not in the mood to getting, die right now, you know. Get, uh, you know, get kneecapped. Yeah, they will, they will. Uh, Those guys don't play. They're there they for don't. a reason. If you cross them, they're like, all right, deadly force. That's what I'm authorized to do. I can end your life, and I'm okay with that. Right. And I mean, you know. They warned you. They warned you. Like, one more time, I'm going to shoot you, and you're dumb enough to be okay. Yeah, right. You I mean, Area 51 it. is not, some people think of it, oh, it's just uh, maybe harboring alien aircraft and stuff like that. But, I mean, it's also government, it it's also government uh, top secret yeah, stuff that they work on. You know what I mean? So Stay away. It's probably a combination of both. I yeah. would think. I mean, you're, you're trespassing. What don't you understand about keep out? It says it right there. Yeah. Keep out. Um, <laughs> what's the other thing? Um, I'm, I was thinking of uh, Area 51. It was, uh, I can't remember what the heck it was, but we'll, you know, maybe we'll come back yeah. to it. Okay. Um, if anybody notices that, that's watching this, mm -hmm. we get the lights up today. They're really bright. They're really, really bright. It does get warm. Sometimes it does so maybe, get maybe so warm that you start to forget what you're thinking it. of. I'm already getting hot, but right. Um, but we can talk about the next thing, which is oh, this the, involves the, aliens and urban mythology. Mothman. Uh, moth, yes, Mothman. Mothman. Very good. Again, the movie that Tom told me to watch when we but did our it. last podcast. Right. And I never got to do but it. But just uh, it's basically, uh, the Mothman takes place <clears> in uh, Pleasant Point, West Virginia. And it took place between 1966 till December 1967. People reported seeing this thing that had big wings and big red glowing eyes. And people reported it for quite some time. They kept seeing it in the sky near the TNT mines, which is where they would like test dynamite and stuff. And this is where the Mothman would fly out of the TNT mine, circle Virginia, circle the towns. Mm. And then he flies back into the TNT uh, uh, uh Musician's plant. <laughs> it's the lights, Tom. It's the lights. It's the lights. <laughs> but uh, it was pretty cool, though, because it's like, you know, also what happened is, you know, the uh, bridge collapsed on December 15th in uh, 1967, killing 46 people. And before the bridge collapsed, supposedly people saw the Mothman on the bridge like a day before. Like they, there was occurrences of some seeing some winged figure up on the bridge. And then it collapsed. Mm. Nobody knows why the bridge collapsed some say it was a structural problem some say you know it was you know like the mothman herald's doom kind of deal but the people mm. that have seen the mothman one couple saw the mothman in the red eyes and this is a true <clears throat> fact like the guy got like a major sunburn on his eyes to the point where like it damaged around his eyes was like burnt red permanently mm. like from like radiation almost yeah. and it messed with the guy's vision and he saw it and he got hurt by it and so, you know, basically, and then it came up again with the 9-11 when the CS Towers, you mm -hmm. know, got hit. I've already hit. seen some pictures like that. that, that some there was like a winged out. being. You yeah. know that, right? You saw the pictures of that? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, supposedly, again, that was supposed to be the Mothman. And it happened again. And it happened, I think it was in Russia or China during the, uh, when uh, Chernobyl melted down. Supposedly... The Mothman was spotted there. So the, kind of the gist of the Mothman is when you mm. see this Mothman creature, it's a herald of doom or of something bad to happen. It's never good yeah. when you see Mothman because something bad's going to happen. But was Catastrophic. This, 
was this Mothman that was mm-hmm. supposedly captured on 9-11, was it a picture, still picture, or was it like a video, and then you can see it in the it video? Was, it, it was a picture. Okay. Cause Somebody snapped a photo of the building. You can, like, Google it on YouTube, and you'd see it. Yeah, I, I know there was other things, I think, about that as well, but, I mean, it's got nothing to do with Mothman, but, mm-hmm. you know, this day and age, is, is, is so easy to edit a picture. Yeah, I mean, you can play with it. You them. know, so, if it was, was it real... Don't know. It's that, I that mean, would, that, you know, I mean, they analyzed the picture, and you know, they they said it wasn't faked. You know, they you know they did a thorough investigation of the picture. But you know, another thing about Mothman, which is alien, because here's the thing about Mothman. Okay, it's a cryptid. It's just Mothman yeah. with big red eyes and flies around, right? But during the time when Mothman was being spotted, the MIBs, the Men in Black, yeah. who have been reported coming to Point Pleasant, Virginia, asking questions about Mothman, and these are like really weird characters. These were. Mm. Very trippy, weird guys, because one of them was named uh, Injured Cole. And supposedly, Injured Cole was, like, calling pe- Like, people, were, like, were receiving, like, calls from their houses and garbled messages and mm. really weird, bizarre things, because they were seeing lights in the sky like <clears throat> UFOs. Mm-hmm. So people don't know if the Mothman was a cryptid or does it have to do something with aliens. Cause That's both, interesting. Because both these things were happening in the town. You have this, this thing flying around with big red eyes, right? Yeah. And you have these MIBs walking around, and back in the 40s, that's not something you saw every day. MIBs, mm. you know, black sunglasses, three-piece suits. Yeah. Well, these guys coming to Virginia, I mean, right? Some podoke town in Virginia, which is, you know, country music. And I mean, these guys are like, you know, it's a country video. What are these people doing here? Why are they here? Hmm. Yeah. Really weird stuff happened in Point Pleasant, Virginia, especially. Yeah, it, it was very strange. They made yeah. a movie about it, The uh, Mothman Prophecies. Which was a really Rich, good film. Now, that was the and one with uh, Richard, Gere. Richard Gere. Yep. Okay. And I, that kind of, dis- I mean, not, I mean, it's, it's fiction. Like, the movie's fictional, but it, it, it describes the events that took place. So it's a good film to watch because <clears throat> it's not a junkie movie. Like, it's actually right. an intelligent, well-done film about the Mothman prophecies. And uh, it's really creepy because I was going to go to Virginia. Like, I wanted to go there on vacation and, you know, go hunt yeah. for the Mothman. Then COVID hit, so I'm like, forget about it. I stayed right. home. Right. <laughs> Maybe we could do that. Go hunt the Mothman in Virginia. Road you trip. Go, you can go check it out. Let me know how it is. You know Don't what? bring Mothman back with you. You know, that actually happened to a person. What do you mean? What happened to a uh, What? Uh, this, a, well, th- this kind of ties into yours a little bit, but uh, it's one of those paranormal shows. I don't know which one, but uh, these people went to mm-hmm. Virginia. And uh, they went to the Mothman Festival because they celebrated there. It's called the Mothman Festival. It's like Mardi Gras or Comic Con. Really? Oh yeah, it's never a big even heard thing. of that. Wow. Yeah, the That's... Mothman Festival in Virginia. Oh, it's wicked big. I mean, it's like Comic Con. People dress up, and it's 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 nuts. It's very popular. These people <clears> went there, and they wanted to go where the Mothman supposedly kind of flies out of his cave. So these people went there. They did EVP work. They got like you know camera shots of him and everything. And they brought something. Something negative came back with them to their house. Hmm. So whatever the Mothman is, it's I could I, I want to say it's negative because these poor people had trouble when they came back after investigating the Mothman, that they had to have somebody come and like smudge their house and do an investigation on them after they visited the Mothman site. So yeah, there's but, some danger in it. Yeah, but you yeah. know when you when you're saying maybe the Mothman came back, something now, came back with them. I, I would think it, if even if it, whether it's a myth or not, mm-hmm. I, you know, with the the population of the world. Mm-hmm. Mothman is going to pick one person or two people and travel with them, or it, it, could Mothman be? Could it be a multiple of Mothmen and just and, and they're like all over. I don't know. I mean, something. I'm not going to say it's a moth. It's something followed. Something negative followed them back to their home, and then they experienced a haunting. Things are being moved. They started getting like really bad luck, really sick. I mean, it. I mean, these people like really scared. You know, when they yeah. came back, they had to call like a paranormal investigating people like us to come check it out for them and. But, you know, when you play with these things, you know, mm. and, uh, there's another thing that happened here in Massachusetts that involves aliens. Yeah. What's the, that? Oh, wait, I think you were talking about that. Yeah. It's the uh, Dover Demon, which transpired on April 21st through April yeah. 22nd. Right. And that's the place. Mass. And that's the place that originally we were going to go. Yes. When we, we never were going to do those, those, those other shows that we had talked about, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which... We may could we, we could, could do down the still road. Could. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, it's it, it, what is it? It's a um, some sort of I can't remember. What is it? Some sort of a cave, I think, wasn't it, or something? Or no, I wasn't a cave. The Dover Demon supposedly. Again, this is between a cryptid and an alien. Because I mean, it was a big deal because it was in the paper. I mean, mm. I mean, 
the police station that night got something like 50 to 100 calls about people seeing something with three fingers, mm -hmm. an egg-type head, big eyes, small right, body, about gray. The typical alien. Right. Yeah. So the dubbing it the Dover Demon was probably an, an overstatement. It was more like it was an alien. But this thing was going right through the county. I mean, everybody was calling the cops. I just saw something cross my yard. The cops were called out. It was in the paper. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a big thing in Dover yeah. when this happened. Yeah. You know. It's pretty cool. Now that I'm thinking about it, because mm -hmm. I want to mention it before I forget, because right. if I forget, then I'm going to have nothing to talk about. Go for it. So back to that show, Paranormal Caught on Tape. Best show they ever. Sh they, sh they show a lot of. Good stuff. No. Well, yes, yeah, good stuff. But. They show us some of the stuff that they show are, are, are alien related. Oh, a lot and of it. And so is. one of the things yeah. that they showed, and I'm sure if you watch it I like watch I do, all. is that someone apparently took a picture uh, of, of this it, during the daylight now, took a picture uh, of, this, of this craft. I don't know if there was one or then two later, mm -hmm. but apparently if you zoom in, right. it, the, the, the spacecraft is small. Not extremely small, probably about the size of a car, maybe, maybe a truck. Big enough. But it says that you can actually see, it looks like a clear top, like a clear rounded top, and you can actually see an alien inside if you zoomed in on I, the picture. I, you know, I haven't seen that one. I, You'll I'll have to it find out. it. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know what episode it is. I, know, I think there's I like three or four out. seasons out there right now. Um, very, very cool. But again, this day and age, it's very easy I mean, you to can edit think, video. Yeah, you, you can edit videos, but you know, if you have the professionals look at things, though, they can really zoom in on like, no, that's real. This is what I this this is what's hard nowadays is, like, you and I could have taken the picture, mm -hmm. right? We look at it. We had just a regular camera. Take it home. Look at it. Study it. You know, kind of maybe look at a magnifying glass. Oh my God, look at that! It looks it looks like there's an alien inside. Yeah, that right. Thing. You bring it to TV, show it around the world. Fake. People are gonna be like. No, that's fake. Yeah. It's, it's hard, you know, because you know what you have. You know what you caught. Same thing like when we go out doing paranormal investigation. Yeah, I don't remember. We, we know what we have. We know what we caught. We yeah. know what we've seen. Yes. But people, especially well, yeah, skeptics, mean, are, are not going to believe it. You, know, I mean, it's, you it's, can't it's, just believe everything you see, right? And right. And fall for anything. Yeah. yeah. It, it, also, like uh, saying the aliens created the pyramids. Oh, what yeah. do you think about that? Do you think that's something Honestly, that the, you think they were helped hmm. maybe? Because, I mean, Lots. you look at those things. I mean, they're... For well, back I, then, I mean, the, 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 the construction, the... Yeah, they the, used the fulcrum. Big deal. Hmm? They used the fulcrum then to lift the blocks. That's a, you know what a fulcrum is. is but, a, I mean, I can lift 300 pounds with a fulcrum if I just... You know, you, you take a board, you put a rock under it, you make a fulcrum, and boom, you move yeah, I don't know, but still, the, 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 in the middle of the desert, what kind of... I mean, you must need water to mix, to make rock... You know what I mean? They're well, I in believe. the middle of a desert. Where are they going to find water? Well, I mean, I mean, they had water because uh, sometimes oceans and rivers can run under the sand, and you can tap into it, and you know, kind of like oil. If no anybody kidding. knows any more, like any, I would say, has a little bit better, uh, not explanation, but like a, a descript, not description either. What's the word I'm looking for? Can explain or maybe know a little more about the uh, the the pyramids and if aliens involved or if there's you know what i mean or, or the possible. building of them 50, i would love 50. to find out some, yeah. some more because i don't 50. i don't know a whole lot about it but i mean there's always been a lot of talk yeah. if aliens came because they say they align with the stars oh yeah and all that and, stuff and yeah. you know what i mean so it's and then atlantis gets thrown in there too a lot Remember, oh, yeah. oh it's by, you know you got the you got the the mayans giza you have the egyptian pyramids then you have atlantis and then that all that big theory factors into all that like oh atlantis sunk and then the atlanteans made the pyramids too it's like it choose which one you're into i guess right I, mean, I don't know but why do you think this day and age the government well you said a little while ago that the government's just announcing oh there's there's ufos yeah, but they're not yeah. stating that it's an alien clean. craft or there's aliens why do you think now that they still will not say hey what absolutely that yes they we there are other planets that do have life there are aliens out there i don't know because back in the day, they were saying, oh, they were afraid of... Uh, 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 it's the lights. Yeah, it's the <laughs> lights, people. I'm sorry. It's, it's the lights. I'm, the I'm lights is my, draining the... It's just draining, it's draining brain my brain today. It's terrible. It's the... Um, God, Tom, help me out here. Okay, can I buy a vowel? Uh, sure. I don't remember the word, a. but... <laughs> <laughs> can no, I buy no a way. vowel? Uh, no, the, 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 the fear. It's like the fear of letting the government know... Oh, hey, yeah, they're aliens. I think they were afraid of 
people causing uh, paranoia. Like, maybe yeah. paranoia. I'm thinking of. Well, yeah, like, like mass hysteria or whatnot. Yeah, you know, but like, you think uh, nowadays it would be a big deal to no, say, "Hey, I, honestly, with with what we have going on in the government, <laughs> in our culture, I think aliens would be the far less scary thing we have to worry right. about." And you see, you know, it's funny. You look at a lot of videos, and people will <laughs> notice people say. This is the reason why aliens don't want to visit us anymore. Would and you I want to visit say, them? Man, if I saw our planet from afar. Like, oh no way! Like, do they really do that up. down there? No, we're not coming down to see you guys anymore. It was fun while it lasted. Yeah, there's some things we, we they, could say, but we can't say. They, they don't even want to. <laughs> they don't even want to examine us anymore. Take us up into their spaceship and examine us. That could be can, confusing for them. Yeah, it probably would be. And they're like the you know. <laughs> we can't say anymore. <laughs> oh my god! That's a show that we can't do here. Yes, this is a family. Orientated show. Family orientated show. Me. I'm telling you, I cannot, <laughs> cannot talk today. Um, yeah, we can't talk about that. No. Okay. So let's see. We'll we'll moving forward. Moving forward. <laughs> moving forward. What else is alien related? That uh, you know, I could say, I've never, never seen. Ha- I've never seen. Objects, I, I can't say that I've ever had an ex- uh, an experience. I've never seen anything. My mother, on the other hand, she told me a little story. That's cool. That uh, I don't know the whole story. It's very quick. Yeah, but uh, I think she was in like she was in a car in the back seat with a friend, mm-hmm. and there was somebody else driving, and or something to that uh, Effect. sense. And um, I guess they saw something blue in the sky following them. It was pretty low. Mm-hmm. They would drive faster and faster. Kept following them. Blue, and then, correct? No uh, other lights. Just no other lights. I guess color. it was just okay. a blue light. Okay. Following them, I don't know how, for how long. It's cool. And then it just just disappeared. I mean, that's you know. Yeah, it's that's. I mean, this was probably the 60s. I don't know. My mother was on drugs back then. I don't know. 60s, everybody was seeing something, right? My mother doesn't see this episode. I'm accusing her of that, but, you know. Like, that's not alien. (laughs) That's what you took, like, an hour ago. Okay, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) No, but I would, that would be cool, though, to to experience something like that. I think I would, I would panic. Like I said earlier, you know, if I saw an alien right there in front of me, if one came right through here, the studio, just walked through the wall, I would freeze up, panic. And hit the dirt, I'd be out of here. <laughs> I don't trust those little buggy guys. Yeah. I mean, who knows if that's even what they look like, you know? I mean, I think no, a, a lot of it, pretty. too, I think these days, people are always saying, you know what, here, here's another thing. If, if the universe is so huge Lodge, and so yeah. far and there's other life out there, oh, yeah, absolutely. why do all these aliens seem to look the same? Well, look at us you on know, that planet. Like, oh, right. why, 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 why do we all look the same? But we're, we're one planet. Colors, that's all. We're one planet. Right. There's millions of other planets out there. So well, say like say know. like this. Uh, I don't know, I'm just throwing a stupid estimate. Uh, estimate. Uh, estimate. Uh, I got Tom. Estimated number. Estimated, estimated number. number. Can't have these say lights this. anymore because my yes. host is losing his mind. <laughs> Literally. Oh, out. there is a nice cool breeze though coming through. Can you feel that? Is, is that AC? I think so. Ooh, they're giving us AC. We must be moving up. Yes, we are. And I told you. We have AC now. So Tom, that's right. <laughs> right. Uh, what was I saying though before I talked about the uh, estimating? Uh, oh, okay, in the, the planets. And whatnot. Yes. If there's like, say, twenty planets with life. Yeah. But yet everybody's saying. I mean, you would think that maybe every planet that that comes, you know, from out of space, maybe more advanced than us. Is it just that one planet where they all look alike? Well, I they mean, come down to see, you know what I mean. I, well, I mean, it's their tough. humanoid in appearance. You know, I guess it's like this. I guess you have to do <clears throat> aliens and you have to do religion in it because let's say you are religious and you believe in a god. So, you know, God likes to create things in his image. Right. So the aliens, we're, we're in God's image. Aliens are in God's image. You know, you got a head, arms, legs, a torso. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's the big man upstairs likes things to look like himself all through the galaxy. I don't know. I don't you know whatever theory you buy. If you're religious, great. If you're not, then I don't know. Maybe it's just science or genetics. Who knows? But yeah, I mean, I, mean, I would. Yeah, I don't know. You know. Yeah, I, I would believe. like to think that there's a variety of different types of aliens that you know. I mean, look at Star Wars. You watch Star Wars. Look at all those different types of aliens that they find out in the galaxy. You know what I mean? Yeah, but they are vaguely humanoid, though. I mean, the two arms and the legs. I mean, it's like a well, except you know, Jabba the Hutt's a big slug, but you know. That's true. I get slug. a look. I get a look at the time. Yep. Uh, because my my phone. We're on a timer right here. It's okay. So okay. we got thirty minutes. 30, 30 minutes left. Uh, well, to an hour. We, you know, we like to take the show minutes, to an okay. hour, but cool. Sometimes, you know, we we stretch it out too much, and we have to kind of close it. But I mean, as far as uh, any other alien topics or, or uh, uh, well, I guess the only other topic 
now I'm shooting from the hip, so I can't exactly I I can't give you exact dates and places. Okay, mm. so just kind of bear yeah, with me. That's, yeah, I'll just give you the brief. Okay, right, ten minutes worth. There was uh, in in like an alien abduction. Supposedly took place. It was in Massachusetts somewhere. It was over one. Of, you know those old style bridges. You know the ones that are red the, and they the, have the you know what the planks going across. Yeah, like the covered bridges. Yeah, covered yeah. bridge. Supposedly this really happened because this is the only time the government actually said, yeah, this happened, and, and, and they put a plaque at this place, the state, on, I think it was like 1952 or three, a couple drove through the bridge, they were abducted for like a couple of minutes, and then they were brought back. After they were brought back, the government stepped in, the MIBs came, and said, don't talk about this, mm. shut up about it. And they did commemorate this place with a plaque. I, me and my girlfriend went there to check it out. And it's somewhere in Mass. It's a good, like, two hours away yeah but when you go to this bridge it does have that it does have that eeriness and there's that cool plaque there that says this Mm. took place in 1952 an abduction it was actually you know like certified by the government they put their stamp of approval on the plaque and it was it's a neat place to go i i forget where it was i've been to so many places yeah it was I, like I years ago i went three years ago i don't know yeah i don't re- i don't know that story at all you know, you know what look it up online just say abduction in massachusetts and <clears> over a covered <throat> bridge and you'll find out if anyone wants to go looking for it you can find it on like you know google did you, did you state how long ago this was i or uh, kind uh, of estimated time or it was in ni- like uh, it was 1952 it happened 1951 or so 52. maybe like early 50s yeah 50s definitely 50s it happened it was a big thing and the government said yeah this really happened here's the plaque so the government back then said it really happened yeah yeah they said it really happened because i guess the people made such a stink about it you know and the government it, had to say yeah this happened and they put a plaque there which and it took a picture of the plaque right I'd thought about it now. I should have brought the picture in that I took, but I right, didn't. you know, and that that's, that's kind of weird because you know, neat. you hear again. It seems like the government goes back and forth. Yeah, they, they mess up and then they don't. Yeah, they don't want you to know. They want you to know. No. I think you know, in this day and age, like I said, make it's, up it's, my it's mind. So, you know, just if if there really are aliens out there that come from other planets, you know, we should just know. I mean, it's not going to cause a, a, it's not a cause paranoia. Anything, no, I, mean, I don't think. I mean, some people might be scared of it. But why should we know that we're the? Why should we think that we're the only ones yeah, out there? You know, like I said, it's, it's just crazy it's, to think that way. I mean, let me ask you another question. This is for you. Do you think aliens are already here among us? Yes or no? That's a great question. Yes, because no? I that because that sometimes goes through my mind. Are and, they already? And, and it's not just out. because I've seen MIB the first one when they were or talking X-Files. about huh or X Files. I X Files. I was never really a big fan of. I did, however, love the intro to it though. <laughs> that was great, creepy. <laughs> But uh, I, I think they could be, uh, you know, if we've met one, we probably don't know about it. I mean, for all I know, I've known you for 20 years. Maybe you, maybe you're an alien just in, <laughs> 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 I don't know, Tom, that's a, I would like to think, I would think they would be. I mean, I if think some of them have gone back to their home planet and you're like Michael Jackson. No, I'm just playing going. <laughs> Ooh, you're going to get some bad comments on that one. People, we, remember, this is a family-oriented, or, I can't say the I word I just again. said he went back home. That was all. It's he went back deal. home. He went back people, home. People, you're going you're gonna to have people hating us now. Woo! Tom, Tom, naughty, naughty. <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, we're getting, we're still, it right. I think it's a light, Tom. Now it's affecting your brain a little bit. Yeah. Oh, the alien. I see your skin's set to crawl off. Anyway, yeah, I'm we're melting out from of the lights. Here. Huh? I'm melting from the lights. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. What was that? They're coming. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Oh, jeez. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what? I think we're gonna I think we're gonna maybe <laughs> gotta call this short. call this yeah, I think we're gonna call this show uh for what it's worth. Uh, you know, I meant to mention it in the beginning of the show. Um, again, you know, we're, we're new with the show. We're new, we're new doing this. So we're, we're still playing learning. around with the show and, uh, learning new things. Uh, but we were going to state in the beginning of the show, which Tom was going to state, cause he's supposed to be the host of this sh- podcast. I'll let today. you do this part. Um, it basically, you know, if, if anybody's out there and they have suggestions or comments, um, or, you know, what is it? What is the email? I think it's, uh, N- it's NJA paranormal podcast. At Gmail. Yes. Or do, yes, at Gmail. Uh, we're going to try to respond to, you know, emails as best as we can. Well, questions. Um, Just saying hi to us. Questions, cool yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, want to be on the show? Uh, we'd love to have another guest on the show. Bring something to the table. Exactly. Okay. Um, right. So is that it, Tom? Is that all yeah. you got? Yeah, that's it. I'm good. All right. That's it. All right. Until next time, people. Yeah. 
we'll see you then. <laughs>